Mike says, Hi, Hi Robbie. In one of your shows, you pointed out the hard disk dock on the desk by your right elbow. Ah. Can you guys see that? Ooh. There it is. It okay. is the, uh, the blacks from Thermaltake. Yeah. Okay. Uh, he says, I would like to purchase one of these. Uh, as mm -hmm. I have lots of IDE drives lying about, and they would provide me with lots of extra storage. Uh -huh. I've been looking online, and they all seem to be for SATA drives. SATA? Yep. Well, no. SATA. You said it right the first time. Serial okay. ATA. Yeah. Okay. Drives. Uh, do you know if IDE ones are available, and can you recommend one that will not be too pricey? Right. All the best from Mike Day in the UK. Okay, Mike. What we have to look at, um, if I have an IDE drive... I think I do. Here's the problem. Here's a cable on an IDE drive. If you guys can see this, I'll just kind of zoom in a little bit. Um, there are a ton of tiny, itty-bitty little pins here. So these pins can get bent really, really easily. Can you see that? Yeah. So you can see how these pins are. Mm -hmm. With an SATA drive, on the other hand, let's just pull this drive out here, out of my dock. See how the, the pins are so much different? Oh, yes. These just aren't, they're not going to break, if you can see that. I'll just kind of, there's my zoom. How's that? <laughs> a little bit higher resolution anyway. So that's SATA, a little safer. This is EIDE. Tons of tiny little pins. Those pins can get bent really easily if you were using something like a dock. So r typically there's not something available that, uh, that's going to do that for you in the way that the, the Blacks does. Well, what you can do, and this is the way that I've gotten around that, is uh, using an external drive enclosure. So I'll just uh, grab something like, uh, I don't know, let's look at what Thermaltake has, see if they have something. Find an, e, uh, like an IDE external drive enclosure that will allow you to have uh, ESATA. Well, you probably won't have ESATA, but you'll definitely have USB 2.0 on that. And you'll be able to not hot swap, because IDE drives are not hot swappable like uh, SATA, but you'll be able to plug it in um, and usually they have a power switch, so that kind of makes it uh, hot swappable because you can turn off the power on the fly as long as you unmount it. Let's just see if uh, Thermaltake has anything for you. Let's see. 3.5 inch solutions. See if they have any for IDE. This is thermaltakeusa.com that I'm just taking a look at here. Okay, so there's the blacks. Here's an IDE to USB 2.0 controller uh, enclosure. So there's a few here, and they start at only $34.99. So now that's for no 3.5 inch enclosure for notebook hard drives. Well, that's 2.5 inch. So that doesn't make a whole lot of sense, does it? Let's take a quick boo. But if you can find something like that, what I mean is uh, you can actually have it kind of kept apart. Just use the mounting unit, and that will allow you to just plug in a hard drive, turn on the power. Just kind of like you see there. I'm not sure if this is specifically. But see that? There's a power switch, there's a power input, and there's a USB port. So as long as you don't put the aluminum uh, part of the chassis on, that should work just fine. I think it's just a typo on their website because this is for 3.5-inch uh, hard drives. So, yeah. Try that. They don't really make the blacks things for IDE, though. All right. It's kind of makeshift. It's like doing what you can with what you got, right? Mm -hmm. So you get one of those, take it apart, because you build these things anyways. It's just a chassis. It's just a, like a mounting enclosure. And then you just put a hard drive in without screwing it down. Just connect it very, very carefully and, uh, and fire it up. And then you can do it that way. Right. Not ideal, but it works.